and we're back guys shadow of the colossus is what i'm playing here what's going on it's your boy keese again also known as kira god of the gaming world ha gamer tag those that want to add me i i kira all caps i i all together but again i'm working on my second colossus battle i'm headed to that now wanted to show you guys and just to let you know uh spoiler alert i probably should have said at, at the beginning of my last video as well but spoiler alert for guys who have not played it if you're looking to play it maybe you maybe you don't want to watch this if you still want to see it see how see how it looks if you have an interest in it definitely check it out it's wonderful but yeah um this is my second run through of the remake so I'm trying to do a speed run, trying to see how fast I can defeat the Coloss Colossus battles and uh, try to go through them in record time. Yeah. Now, once again, this game, as I told you guys before, is beautiful. As you can see, the level of detail in the, in the mountain and the rock formations you see the sand and the background this is truly an amazing game guys I, I'm loving it and um, I'm so happy to be playing this game again I never thought I would be playing this game again like that not for a long time <laughs> so seeing this remake oh man it's I'm like a kid in a candy store it's just amazing simply amazing I love it the level of detail, the beauty, the mechanics of the game, the the colossal colossus battles <laughs> is just amazing. I, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. But anyway, I'm headed to this second battle here. And again, uh, this is probably one of the easier ones. Uh, the the colossus is not really as big as the others. It's kind of more of a medium is not the biggest but it's not the smallest either so and yes there are smaller colossi that we will encounter and i'll show you guys later on and of course more skyscraper type battles with the bigger guys but anyway headed off to this next battle which is about to start we had a cut scene earlier second cut scene showing the arrival of the colossus Pretty neat. Looking at the the design and the structure of the Colossus is just amazing. But anyway, my objective is to scale this guy and to try to figure it out how to do so. Now again, since I've already played through it, I already know how, but I like to also find out different ways of kind of defeating it also, as you guys are about to see. But the main idea is to take the guy down on his hoof and then scale his, scale his body any way that you can. So again, I'm trying to get through it faster so I decided to stop trying my new way <laughs> stop trying to find a different way of scaling them so I decided to go my old method so take this guy down hell this might be the only way to take him down <laughs> alright so I successfully Scaled the beast. Now it's time to find those vital points. So again, another thing when scaling this beast, guys, you have to keep a constant check on your stamina meter that 
little yellow circle at the bottom right hand of the screen. It goes down slowly over time. So you definitely want to keep an eye on that. So I was going to go to his head at first. I decided to go to the butt. <laughs> decided to go to the ass cheeks first. <laughs> so also to let you guys know, I'm playing on hard mode. So as you can see, the damage isn't really going down as much. It takes a little bit of time and a couple of strikes in order to get it down. I've seen videos of guys playing other modes and it was taking it down in like a few hits. I'm not sure if that's like an easy mode, normal mode or whatnot, but I never played any of those. I've always played hard mode, so I'm used to that meter going down a little slower. But I think they base the difficulty level again based upon the attack, as I mentioned, and then your stamina meter, I think, goes down a little quicker. I don't know for sure, but all I know, it is it is tough. It's not easy. Still working on this guy. Taking a little bit of time. I think I got like another hit or, hit or so on this on this part anyway again I stay watching my meter so definitely try to make sure that that meter stays strong it's easier to, to, to keep watching that meter and keep going back and forth and letting it rebuild rather than falling off because I would hate to have to do this all over again it takes more time Also, too, just to let you guys know, I'm playing the modern remap version as far as with the controls. So you guys might see me redo things or might mess up a lot because I'm so used to playing the classic way that playing this whole modern remap version. It's a little different. It's a little different. They said it makes it easier and I can see why like, it has a role, but a role and like a couple of other changes. But. Still getting used to it, but that is it. That was the last strike. The beast is down. Man versus beast. And of course, the same thing happens after every time you defeat a Colossus, the darkness takes over you from that and goes into my body. You guys will find out the reason why later on so as I mentioned after every battle we're warped back to the temple where the deity Dorman lets us know our next boss battle give us a little bit of details about the next battle ahead Every time a statue breaks, just letting us know that type. 
I keep wanting to say Titan so bad. <laughs> that Colossus. <laughs> keep wanting to say Titan so bad. Shout out to Attack on Titan, by the way. Super huge anime fan. <laughs> anyway. But guys, that is it for the second battle. Again, just wanted to let you guys see that. How to destroy it. Again, spoilers for guys who didn't want to see it. For those who did, I showed you how to do it. So boom, you're welcome. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll talk to you later and see you on the third Colossus battle. All right, guys. Later.